Hello, welcome to my channel. In this episode, I will be reviewing an African violet called Blackberry Jam. It was hybridized by Sydney Serrano at Linden Line Greenhouses and it was registered with the African Violet Society of America in 1995 under the registration number 8184. So at this point, it's a 24 year old uh, hybrid which doesn't make it any less beautiful. What you see in front of you is a very, very young plant at the beginning of its first blooming cycle. I received it as a starter plant from Linden Line Greenhouses two months ago in July of 2019. And here is what it looked like upon arrival. And now two months later it has already started to bloom and you can see that um, it has a lot of uh, bloom buds so it's a rather a generous uh, bloomer or prolific bloomer. The flowers are semi-double dark red purple stars. I got it because I really wanted to have a darker color variety in my collection and I'm really happy I ordered it. I enjoy the color of the blooms very much. Uh, the older blooms, they tend to uh, drop a little bit. Uh, the younger ones, um, they stand relatively tall above the rosette. Um, so it's, it's hard for me to tell if uh, the bloom stalks um, are not strong enough be uh, to, to stand tall or maybe they will be cascading or like laying on top of the leaves you know how there are different types of African varieties and how the um, blossom stems behave. So this one I can see here, this is the young um, stem carrying a new bud and it stands quite tall. This is a, a very young plant so it's hard to see the full potential of it um, but we can see um, We'll see how it matures and then I'll be able to tell more about the behavior of the blossom stems. Um, so, but I, so far I really, uh, really like it. We can see newer, newer flowers here. They have very dark purple hue inside and um, they are semi-double or these are definitely double I would say because they're very full inside. But um, uh, overall they're semi-double because some of them look like single stars but there's still a few extra petals inside and that's what usually is referred to as semi-double uh, blooms. The foliage uh, is very pretty, it's variegated, um, it grows to be a large standard variety and the foliage is dark green variegated with uh, white and the leaves are plain of eight uh, with red backs. So if we see up close here, the variegation was not really pronounced here at the older leaves, but the newer leaves definitely show some variegation that is white. And in my conditions, it also has some pink tints to it. So it, it's really pretty. And what I think is very special about this particular hybrid is that the rosette grows very symmetrical. It doesn't have any suckers. It just grows on itself into a symmetrical rosette without any additional grooming. And, or at least that's what happened to this particular plant. I will definitely keep observing it and uh, hope I will uh, be able to grow a beautiful rosette on this plant. So as far as the size of uh, size of the blooms, they uh, reach about one inch and a half or one inch and a quarter. Here they are in comparison to a dime coin. They're not uh, super large, but they're quite decent sized blooms. And when it's covered with blooms all throughout, it creates a very uh, very beautiful sight. At this point, though, I will um, remove the flowers. I will disbud this plant and let it concentrate all of its energy on growing a healthy rosette first. So that will follow this video recording. 
This variety is growing under a combination of LED and natural light on my west facing window with the temperature set at 79 degrees Fahrenheit and the humidity at around 50%. I grow it on a wick just like all of my other African violets with a very weak dosage of balanced fertilizer that has equal proportion of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. So here it is again. A blackberry gem by Sydney Serrano at Linden Lion Greenhouses. Um, it, I believe it's a beauty. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I certainly enjoy growing it and enjoy sharing it with you. It has a beautiful purple dark color blooms and beautiful variegated rosette. Thank you all so very much for watching and I will see you again at the next episode of my African Violet Reviews.